Good evening everyone, Seth here. I have a knife review I'd like to discuss. This is the Microtech UTX85 single edge. Uh, it's the 2016 model. It, um, it's out the front and it is a perfect choice for EDC or everyday carry if you don't know what EDC means. Uh, it is a double action automatic switchblade out the front. And uh, it is a fantastic blade. The blade is of LMAX and it is extremely thin profile as you see. So it just, it digs into targets. The factory edge came a little toothy. Some stropping made, makes it the sharpest knife I own. And you're about to see what I mean here in a few minutes. The, uh, the logo is on the, the knife, Microtech. And uh, I don't know if I operate. There it goes, Microtech. Uh, it has the date and all that kind of stuff, serial number and everything. But the lighting's not great in here tonight, but so just overlook me. These have been updated since uh, their first couple of runs. You notice the, the, there's a lot more aggressive jimping on the switch. The, uh, the handle itself is also kind of rounded. It's not like a big box like this. Uh, pretty good glass breaker on the end. So, and the little claw logo right there. I like it how it has the bolts where you can't get into the knife. You can't take it apart unless you have a special uh, tool to take it apart. I'm assuming this is something that Microtech themselves do. I don't know. The handle is of aluminum. And it feels really good. It's smooth, but not slippery, if that makes any sense. Like, if when you first feel it, you're like, this is really slippery. And then you start to hold it, and he's like, no, I'm good. The jumping on the top for your, for your index finger. Jimping on the bottom near the clip, and the jimping also on the switch. You know, make this a good self-defense blade. Uh, carry options also are obviously you would carry this tip down in the pocket. The um, switch is pretty stiff. You know, so there's little to no chance of it going off in your pocket and cutting your leg. But if it does, um, as with any out the front knife, if it even touches anything during the uh, during the um, deployment, it's going to fall off the track. And then, of course, you just sling it out and it pops right back into place, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, this knife is really light and compact you could easily wear this and forget you're wearing it you know or we'll carry this and forget you're carrying it rather the um for an out the front knife there's like no movement i'm trying to see little to none and you're gonna have play there's 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 no there's no way around that but the amount you have depends on the quality of the piece. This is a lightning. Just I'm going to have this over here for comparison's sake. The uh, the difference I've noticed, and of course you know, two hundred dollar knife, thirty nine dollar knife. You know this one's going to blow it out of the water. But let me explain why. Well, obviously this one has a glass breaker. This one doesn't texture on the handle is different and better this is like they say it's aluminum but it feels like plastic um nothing wrong with this knife at all it's, it's 440c it's a good little carry knife it's fun to play with nothing wrong with it but you notice that difference when it deploys how it feels how it sounds solid that one kind of rattles when you, when you fire this, you can feel the parts inside moving around. When you fire this one, it's solid. It's, you can't feel anything moving except the blade going down and then going up. 
just from the impact hitting the you know the stopping points on the mechanisms yeah like I said the blade is very thin and it has what I call a toothy edge and what I mean by that is you can have a razor edge on a knife this one is razor it's a chisel grain but it's still razor sharp and you can run your finger across it it's not gonna grab <clears throat> this one grabs <clears throat> I did not have to sand this I simply stropped it with uh, some green honing compound you can see how fine the edge is uh, side note when I, I did get it second hand so there was a little bit of um, roughness and toothiness possible edge rolling <coughs> not a deal breaker but um, I was able to fix it with the strop on the power on the power sander over here um, I give this knife a 10 out of 10 stars or 5 out of 5 anyway it's perfect you know I can't find anything wrong with it um, when I carried this <clears throat> today I, um, I was walking to my car and you know just for comparison's sake there's not really much way you can completely conceal this knife in your hand while you're walking to your car at night walking to your car and this is in your hand you know I walk with my phone like I'm pinching my phone right now you know and I'm just like I'm texting or whatever but no I'm being very observant of my surroundings to where if I feel I'm in any danger I have a knife right there and I could have done it faster but the skin on my thumb is really thin because I did um, just remove a bunch of calluses the other night so this is really rough so it kind of hurts a little bit but and even if I didn't deploy the knife I have an impact weapon I have a glass breaker if there was an emergency I, I would already have my knife you know we talk about how fast the waves are how fast assisted openings are it's not going to do you any good clip to your pants if you're already, you know, basically if you feel like you're in an environment to where you could possibly be in danger, uh, have the knife in your hand. It's not illegal. You're not doing anything wrong. So, uh, yeah, that, that's about it. Great knife. I'll have all the um, exact specs and dimensions in the opening. I'll do a sharpness test real quick. So you guys can see the beast in action. So here we go. Just, ever, just effortless. Uh, let the camera move. Oh, damn it. I really got to get a camera for it. Let me do that again. So I can see myself in the screen. But just effortless. I always turn my hand when I get to the end. I always say the same thing. It's not the nice fault, it's my fault. For being a pussy and turning my hand around the wrong time. But I'm going to stop right there. I don't want to cut myself. I'm tired. Uh, as usual, I have no hair to shave. Not really. Uh, and that was, actually, that was actually a topic in one of the groups I'm in. How like how bald are your arms? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I hope you can. So uh, in closing, if you can find one of these knives, if you're lucky enough to come across uh, really any microtech, you're gonna have you know good results out of. Uh, the Lightning is a good knife. It's you know, it's there's no problem with this knife. It has never failed to deploy. It doesn't hold an edge quite as good because it's 440C. It can still be stropped back to life. And even though this is considered a bigger knife, look how close they are in the blade's lengths. A little bit more width. Almost, I mean, it's like right there at the lengths. And you got a shorter handle. So it's more concealable. It's more... Um, preferable for EDC and I'm not comparing these two this isn't a comparison I'm just saying you know 
this is the only other out the front knife that I really claim to have, so I ain't really got a whole lot to compare it to. This is my first real micro tape, by the way. So, yeah, perfect, uh, perfect knife. Uh, it's definitely my new baby as far as my knives go. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. You know what's about to come? Peace and say my name. See you.